Hi, today's good person to know is Mike McGee. He's co-founder and creative director of Framestore, a British visual effects company that's won many awards, including BAFTAs and Oscars for the work they do. And I was really quite spellbound by what Mike was saying in this video. I really was. I was, wow. How on earth do you do that? But guess what? He shared with us behind the scenes footage of just how they do things. And it was amazing. I hope you enjoy it. I'd like to start with something now that really does combine science and art and show how we, how we put the two skills together to solve a problem. This TV commercial, the agency wanted to cast a 19-year-old Audrey Hepburn to be the star of an advert. Now, obviously, Audrey's not alive anymore, so that was an impossible task to use a real actress. We looked at whether we could lift scenes from existing films and re-edit them to, to tell a new story. But again, that didn't work for this very specific brief. We looked at finding lookalikes. That wasn't an option either. So we cast uh, two girls to be the bodies of Audrey Hepburn. Those actresses in polka dots, not just to match their dresses, but those polka dots act as tracking markers. We then film with witness cameras, that's lots of little video cameras around the scene whilst the main camera is recording the story so that we can track the movement and rotation of Audrey's head in three dimensions throughout every shot. And then we brought one of the actresses back to our studio uh, in London and we did a high resolution fo photo shoot of her face. We then modeled and built a CG computer generated version of Audrey's head and used a team of animators to then animate Audrey's facial, facial performance on that CG head. Final commercial, commercial from the neckerchief upwards, is a 100% CG Audrey head tracked onto the body double's body. Wow, the way they put together the Audrey Hepburn commercial was just mind-blowing. But now have a look at the next one. And now this is how you have to overcome obstacles and carry on going so that you can achieve outstanding results. This is a film with Sandra Bullock and George Clooney called Gravity. How do we create zero gravity in a gravity environment? The director originally thought we'd put actresses on wires or actors on wires and dangle them. And we tested that with a, with a stunt girl and we turned her upside down on the wires. We noticed that very quickly she changed color. She got very uncomfortable. And even the way your skin hangs when you're upside down gives away the fact that you're not in true zero gravity. The solution was instead of inverting the actors, we would invert the camera. Technology five years ago when we started didn't exist to be able to do this. So we took a car manufacturing production line robot and we converted it into a high speed motion control camera. But the camera often has to move then at 30, 40 kilometers an hour and stop within millimeters of, of Sandra's face. So how can we control a camera that can be that accurate to move at those speeds. So we have a camera now doing the rotation. If Sandra was on this stage now and I turned her upside down, the light that's on her head when she's upside down would then be on her feet. So again, we designed and created a 360 degree LED light box with a ceiling and a floor and over two million individually programmable LED lights. So we had to come up with new ways of, of lighting the actors, new ways of moving the camera, and new ways of capture, capturing a performance. The bodies of the astronauts in the film are completely animated. They're not real people in suits. So we were pre vis the film. We made a computer animation of the whole film for two years before we got a camera out to shoot anything. Gravity, there were 400 people working for four years to produce the film. And normally at the end of a big production like that, we'll take a photograph of the crew and we'll hand the photograph out. And one of the crew had this great idea and he said, why don't we get Sandra to ask if we can email the picture into space, have them print it out, have the real astronauts hold it up, take their picture holding our picture and then email it back and that'll be the crew photograph. A few phone calls were made, it was sent up. The astronaut said, we received your picture 
but unfortunately our printer has run out of ink. Six months later, and it was six months later because that's how long it takes to get a new delivery of printer ink to the International Space Station. This is our shooting crew at Shepparton Studios pasted onto the window of the real International Space Station. Here are the astronauts actually holding the picture for us. I wanted to be an astronaut. I gave a presentation like this and I was approached afterwards by an agency who created orange squash juice, a little concentrated juice. And they said, we'd love to challenge you, since you want to go into space, to go up into zero gravity and make orange squash in zero gravity. And the challenge was to take a water balloon, and when an aeroplane climbs to 38,000 feet, it then goes into a parabolic arc and does a dive. So while it's doing that, everything inside the cabin becomes weightless. But this parabolic arc only lasts 15 seconds. While we're weightless, let go of the water balloon so it floats, take a pin, prick the balloon, the balloon will burst, the liquid won't fly everywhere because you're in zero gravity, it'll, it'll hold itself together as a mass. Squirt the orange juice from the orange juice bottle into the liquid, have it mix in the air, then push a straw in and take a drink from it. But that's not my memory of that flight. My memory of that flight was much more chaotic. Wasn't that brilliant? I was so pleased to hear how Mike managed to carry out his childhood dream of being an astronaut and traveling in zero gravity, albeit for a commercial, but the fact is he still managed to carry out his dream. And also it just, I hope what you got out of this video was the fact that you can overcome your obstacles, because like everybody else, everybody has them, and produce outstanding results too. So I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching. And please subscribe to see more.